Hello, dear Pokito users. Okay, so you have gotten your Pokito and you've almost put it together. And this is the point where lots of people <clears throat> are wondering what to do next. So today I'm going to explain to you in very, very simple terms how the Pokito works and how you put games on the Pokito. The way that Pokito works is it, it has only one chip that does everything. And that's the chip right here. So the Pokito can store games to, in two ways. It can store a binary here on inside of this chip. And then you can also use an SD card. But first we're going to look at how to put a game inside of the main chip without using an SD card. So now you've got your Pokito assembled. And <clears throat> before we go any further, I need to explain to you what are the buttons at the back. So let's turn the Pokito on like this. The top button over here is reset. And the way that the reset works, it is exactly the same as turning off your Pokito and turning it back on again. Watch what happens at the screen. I turn it off. I turn it on. Now I can find this with my finger. I know it's the top button over there. And when I press it, it does exactly the same as if I turn the device off and back on again. The reset button is here just to make your programming work easier. And if you need to reset the device many times, it's better if you have a special button for it. The lower button here is the very important button because when it is not pressed your Pokito turns on in the normal mode but when you press this button down your Pokito turns on in a flash drive mode and we will see in a moment how that works so first let's connect um, the Pokito with a USB cable to a computer now we have the Pokito connected with a USB cable to a computer. And what we will do now is I will press this button down firmly. This means go into programming mode. And then I will switch the device off and back on again. And you will notice that when I was pressing the lower button down as I was turning the Pokito on, what happens is the Pokito actually starts up in a mode like this, where the screen is just completely white. And what has happened on the screen of the computer is a new window has popped up called CRP Disabled. In my computer it's uh, Drive D. The name of the <coughs> flash drive is a little bit weird. Why is it called CRP Disabled? That basically just means that write protection is not on. It means that you are free to program your pocket if you want. In this drive we see only one file called firmware.bin. The bin stands for binary and it is computer speak for just a memory file that describes the memory of the Pokito. So let's see that again. I, I press reset and the window disappears and I press the lower button down and I press reset again and watch what happens instead of going into normal programming mode what happens is the screen of the pocket freezes and we get a window called firmware.bin or we get a window called CRP disabled which contains firmware.bin and that is actually the memory of the pocket Let's reset again, the window disappears, and if I reset normally, nothing happens. But if I hold the lower button down and I reset, or I switch the power off and back on again, which is the same thing as reset, what happens is a window pops up, and this window is actually the memory of the pocket the device. Next, we will look at how to put a new binary into the Pocket memory. So here we are. 
and our Pokito is now connected with the USB cable. We are in the flash programming mode because we can see that the screen is completely white, nothing is happening. <coughs> and we see in the window CRP disabled, we see the firmware.bin. Now let's go and get another sort of a binary for the Pokito. So let's go to the Pokito website and go to games. And we'll scroll down. And for example, here we have Astrox game. Let's go see that. And here is a game called Astrox.bin. And again, you can, you can recognize that there's a .bin ending on this, um, on this file. So what we'll, we will simply do is we will download this binary file. And when we get the window where it asks what we want to do with this binary file, we will put save as. And what we will do is we will simply go to this DCRP disabled drive, we will click the firmware.bin and we will save on top of it. Do you want to replace the file? Yes. And we'll wait for a second so that we see that the browser has downloaded the game. And next what we do is we simply reset the pocket code. So I just reset by pressing the top button. And what we have is we have the game that we just got from the internet is now loaded on the pocket. It's very, very simple.